Parents of Reddit, what is the dumbest thing you've ever heard from your child? This shirt doesn't have any armholes. You have a pillowcase on your head. Daddy you have a huge bag. He was wearing boxers BTW. A friend of mine's daughter accidentally saw him naked and said, Daddy, you have the ugliest bag. I asked my kid if he had to pee before bed. After I said that, he stuck his hand in his pants, felt his nuts and said, No, they air and hard. My brother's son has a unique way of talking sometimes. My brother told him to hurry up, and he said without blinking, I can't want to, like, he is physically unable to desire to comply with his request. I don't know if stupid or genius. If that's not 100% honesty then I don't know what is. I'd say genius. My nephew, 4 or 5 years old at the time, asked why does the dog never talk to me? Does he hate me? My 5 year old stepson needed to use the restroom while we were having a family dinner with his grandparents in a restaurant. So my ex takes his son to the potty, and they are in the same stall. Little man pees first, then my ex. Little man looks at his dad's dong and starts excitedly squealing dad. Your willy is huge, it's giant. You have a huge willy little man then proceeds to screech this out at the top of his lungs all the way back to the table. Sits next to his grandma and say Grammy, did you know my dad has a huge willy the entire restaurant was laughing. Best wingman ever. I didn't poop in my pants, the dog did. Apparently, kids think this is common. My brother used to like to poop outside like the dog. He hadn't quite mastered wiping yet so he once went up to my parents and asked them to wipe his butt because the dog pooped in it. I raised my cousins. Boys. 4 and 5 climb into a box together and throw themselves down the stairs. After much crying and popsicles, I asked what they were trying to do. We were trying to hurt ourselves to get popsicles. I wish I was making this up. My son in kindergarten. Teacher you need to be more gentle with your friends. My son throws himself on the floor please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. He doesn't do this sort of thing at home. But the full school day has been a big transition. The teacher called me to ask why he might think that. I have no idea. Well Ms. Crabapel, you see at home we occasionally threaten our child that if he isn't careful we might just eat him. It's a pretty standard parenting technique where we come from. Of course we wouldn't really eat him. He's too small and stringy, but want to get him prepared because in another year or two we're going to start taking off finger. Teacher, not a parent, but the other day I overheard this conversation between two of my third graders. Girl, don't you believe Jesus Christ died on the cross to save us from the British king? Boy, that wasn't him. That was Abraham Lincoln. Girl, oh, I probably should have corrected them, but the idea that they will go through life believing Abraham Lincoln was crucified on the cross to save us from the British king was too amusing to me. Vampire color Abe Lincoln makes more sense now. A friend of mine has 6 kids. They are all girls except the youngest is a boy. A few days ago this happened. Mom. Josh pooped in the backyard. Josh. Why did you poop in the backyard? The dog does it. Why can't I? When I was 2 my mom was pregnant and asked what I wanted my sibling to be. Nobody had explained siblings come in only 2 flavors. Brothers or sisters. So I said I wanted a baby tiger, ended up with a sister, and I have resented her for the last 22 years for not being a tiger. When my wife was pregnant, I got real tired of everyone asking me what gender I was hoping for. I just wanted a healthy baby, so I started to telling them I hope it's a robot. Some people laughed, but most of them just looked at me awkwardly and stopped asking questions. <laughs> my 7 year old, I didn't hear you. I was yelling for her from another room and walked into the room where she was playing Minecraft and she blurted out I didn't hear you calling me. How did you know I was calling you? I didn't hear you. But how did you know that I was calling you when I walked in? I didn't hear you. One day I will enjoy telling her that story. Cat is sleeping. Oldest. Five at the time. Asks I wonder what Mo dreams about. Watermelons probably. I told my daughter to behave. She said, Mommy I am have. Your daughter is already a master of dad jokes. On a clear afternoon. Son. Look mom. I found the earth. 
Me. Oh really? Where is it? Sun. In the sky. My kid saw daytime moon for the first time. I wish I was a bird so that I could lay eggs to lay eggs. Nope. Not to fly. To lay freaking eggs. Aha my sister wanted to be a squirrel when she was younger so she would know what it was like to poop outside on the grass. She's a weird kid. When my oldest was 5 I was pregnant. I found out I was having a boy and we excitedly told him he was having a brother. He started crying. Like, full on sobbing. Through the tears he asked if you have a boy who will I marry when I grow up. We had to explain a lot of things that day. I am 6 years older than my first brother. When he was about 3-4 he would run around and chase me saying he was going to marry me. I was a bit freaked out being a 10 year old and all. One time I was getting out of the shower, and my 3 year old daughter walks into the bathroom, because frick a moment of privacy, points at me and says daddy your Gina is falling out. My son calls me mama, I'm the dad. When we're with my brother in law, we'll have our son call him uncle Matt as his name is Matt. Well, my son has taken to calling me uncle daddy in those situations, it's pretty hilarious. My daughter, around 5 or 6, asked what animal did my chicken nugget used to be one night at dinner when we were talking about the importance of appreciating understanding where food came from. To be fair, she may have already learned about buffalo wings. I once heard my brothers screaming and my mom laughing her butt off in the hallway so obviously I went out to see what was happening. Two of my brothers were arguing over who had the bigger weenie. One claimed his was thicker, the other one argued his was longer. They were genuinely peed about it. Ah, the old pancake versus matchstick. I asked my 3.5 year old what time it was. He looked at his wrist, with no watch, looked back at me and said it's 38 pounds. Daddy. My son, 3, lay down on this floor, on his back and put his feet in his mouth. With a grabbled foot filled mouth he said, more more jesh what I am, I don't know son, what, a shocker, soccer, ball, my only child and genetic legacy. It's okay my 2 year old niece went 4 days pretending to be a duck, except when we asked her what she was, she said chicken and was adamant on being said chicken, Ch kids are weird. Son, in tears, my sister called me a trapezoid. Me, do you know what a trapezoid is? Son, no, she always uses big word I don't understand. Me, I would do this to my younger brother and look in the dictionary for words that I didn't normally use but were long enough to upset him. He responded by calling me a cocoa pop, a sugary cold cereal. His reasoning was that our mom told us that cocoa pops are bad for you. So therefore if someone is being bad then calling them a cocoa pop is a valid insult. Me can you tidy your room please? 4 year old son but I'm playing a game. And in the game. This ain't my room. I did not know where to go with that. It's not really that dumb. But funny nonetheless. Looks like you've got a future lawyer on your hands. Are you hungry? No. Are you thirsty? No. Do you need a nap? No. Do you need a diaper change? No. Are you hungry? Yes. According to my stepmother, when I was a wee lad she caught me eating rocks at the playground. So naturally she told me to stop eating the rocks. I apparently turned around and said they're not rocks, they're stones and continued to eat them. When I was about 2, my family caught me eating peak gravel. They asked what I was doing. I replied, um baby rocks taste good. My 2 year old daughter has started responding to me when I say that doesn't make sense by yelling sense is a tent, running around in no fewer than 4 circles, then jumping and landing on her butt. I have no idea WTF is going on but it drives me nuts. My little cousins who are 3 and 5 talk to each other in the minion language I don't know how they know it so well but they actually communicate through it and besides stuff. It drives their dad absolutely crazy. Lilo and Stitch was really popular when I was younger and my brother spoke Stitch language and refused to speak in anything else. I was the only one who understood what he was saying. So for 6 months I was his translator. At my daughter's school she is in an optional lunch program Wednesday and Thursdays. So we don't send her a lunch those days. When my mom picked her up the first week that started and she didn't have a lunch bag she asked why and my daughter's answer was mom and dad don't feed me on Wednesday or Thursday. 
So Maria mother's name. When did you meet grandma? Obligatory not a parent. My brother said it. He never called her by her first name before either. I bet he was thinking in his head wow I sound grown up as frick. Not really dumb. Cause he's about two. But my son told me. Mom. That I had a small willy when we were in the shower. My son got a boner once when he was 3-4 years old. It can happen. Pointed at it proudly. And exclaimed tall. I think we were helping him get dressed or something. My wife had to leave the room. Not a parent. But as children our parents asked my siblings and me what we wanted to be when we were older. The responses were. Fax machine. Baby stroller pusher. And. A doctor. Frick my sister for having her life set up at 4 years old. I'm in my 30s. I asked my 5 year old nephew what age he thought I was. He said 15? Kids seem to think anything in the teens is like borderline self dependent adulthood. I'm 20 and my little cousins think I'm a full time teacher because I helped at a few latin competitions. I'm gonna count my leg. Points at the same one leg. Poking it repeatedly. 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Four year old was jumping in the shallow end of the pool. We told her not to jump in. She does it again and we say, what did we tell you about jumping she replies, I didn't jump I hopped in. Listen here you little crap. Took my daughter for her first driving lesson on a deserted dirt road. Her younger sister also with us. I stop to let the older daughter get in the driver's seat. We get situated and buckled in. My youngest daughter says put this baby in R and let's ride. Luckily the older one knew that the R is for reverse. We still laugh about that. I work as a camp counselor in the summers. I don't have kids though. This summer I was working with some of the much littler. 6-9 year olds. Used to middle and high schoolers. And they'd say some really interesting crap. And where one day we were lining up for lunch and of course our 6 year olds find this task near insurmountable. So we basically just try to corral them off to the side. Today while I was telling them to scoot over I decided to throw a Russian accent on because being goofy and messing with them is about the only thing that keeps you sane in this line of work. So I'm saying, scoot over children in a Russian accent over and over and one of the kids looks at me, gets really confused, and then says we don't know Spanish. Thankfully other counselors were around who witnessed it with me. My kid jumped through a glass coffee table in the living room while trying to jump over said table from the couch. This was as dinner was being served in the other room. So my kid walks in blood pouring out his legs. Nothing major. Sits down. I ask him what the noise was. The cushion jumped through the table. Proceeded to eat his dinner like nothing happened. Raising a psychopath. Before going to bed two nights ago, me, did you brush your teeth, child, yes, me, tonight, child, oh, I thought you meant last night. Mommy, what's a midget? Well daughter, that's really not a very nice word to use these days, but essentially it is an adult that is the size of a child. Are they strong? They can be. Thinking I want to throw one off a bridge. Maybe not dumb, but here was child one. 6 yo, explaining to child 2, 3 yo, how band-aids work, imagine we're in our house, k, and we're trying to get out by running into a wall, you know, that's like the band-aid, it keeps our blood in our fingers like the wall, that's actually pretty creative. Me at the age of 10, I had just cooked some pizza pockets or something and the instruction said let's stand for 5 minutes. Mom, opens door what are you doing? Pizza pockets fall over. Me, ah this is so frustrating. Mom, what is? Me, these pizza pockets don't stand very well. Mom, what? Me, the instruction said let's stand for 5 minutes. Mom, uhh okay then, I'll leave you to it. So men are from my boy, he was a gold mine for these when he was 5. Son, dad, what does organic mean? Me, it means these chickens were fed better food and were treated a bit better than regular store chickens. But son, oh, so they were happy when we killed them. Son to teacher, my dad is Portuguese, but my mom is a vegetarian. Son, calling out from the bathroom, tired, me, yeez, 
Son, is there a bone in your willy? Me, new. Son, are you sure? Me, if you can have one wish what would it be? Daughter, that season I would wish that owls had teeth. Me, look of confusion. Daughter, I have my reasons. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.